They say it only takes 8.2 seconds after meeting someone wow. for your brain to fall in love with them. Dang. Oh. That's so quick. Is that what it was like, Brooke? Uh-huh. Oh. It was. But how long does it take to decide to give them a fake phone number to a radio station? Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Probably I'm going to go less. <laughs> how many seconds yeah. is it? Is it when you first catch a whiff of their thrift store cologne? Mm. Oh. <laughs> or when the spit from his mouth hits your eyelash? Ew. Oh. As he seductively says, Sup, sweet cheek. <laughs> well, you waiting for the same buses as me or what? A lot that's of what S's you, in that. That's what you get when you have those fake eyelashes. It shouldn't <laughs> be so long. Now, however, like, yeah. however long it takes, we appreciate it because you giving out that number gives us the hilarious voicemails that we're about to play for yeah. you in a brand new loser line. <laughs> it's coming up at 710. What's up with you? Wait a minute. Is this the right number? It's um the loser line. Come on. Just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say someone approaches you while you're out in nature and uses mm. this charming pickup line on you. Excuse me, miss, but I'm a bird watcher. Uh-huh. And I'm looking for a big-breasted, red-headed bed thrasher. Oh, <laughs> have you spotted one? Yeah. Because I have. And looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Jose yeah. yeah. like that too much. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, resist the urge to rip off his binoculars and cram them up his tweet hole. Oh, oh come wow. on. Instead, tell him that you're the type of early bird that gets that worm. Hey, oh. hey, hey. And that's when you give him the number of no. the loser line. So hopefully he leaves you an awkward voicemail we could play on the air. Voicemails like this one. Next message. Isabella. Remember we met at the movies? It's the... So, so I, as I said, I've been looking for someone who likes Barbie as much as I do. For the last six months, I've been building a Barbie kingdom. I, I've got a, a, a bathroom painted pink, a, a bedroom painted pink. I'd like you to share my Barbie kingdom, so call, call me back. Just give me your shoe size. Next message. Oh, okay. that that's so like, great. Creepier no, and creepier. no, I'm going to say lies. No one would call it a Barbie kingdom. They would call it a Barbie dream house. Uh, it's yeah. the right term. He's a fake fan. Wow, you're right. Dumps. He's just going for the shoes, Jeff. That's all he's looking for. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, wow. the girl probably smelled him out and was like, no, nope, loser lies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Next message. Hey, Simon. It's Amy. Um, I'm just calling because I don't want you to feel bad about, you know, throwing up on the table when we met. I don't know why you did it because you got up and left afterwards. But, like, maybe you were just taken aback by my beauty. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Um, (laughs) You know, like, if you did it because you were nervous, I just want you to know that I totally deal with that a lot, too. And for me... The only way to get past that is to sniff a calming scent. So whenever I go out, and this is kind of embarrassing to admit, I keep two lemon slices under my armpit. So, you know, like if I'm ever feeling nervous, I can just kind of like sniff under there and like, you know, I feel better thanks to the lemons. So call me back. I can tell you a great place to get, like, a good deal on lemons if you need. Next message. Wait, I was wondering why he was the one that puked on the table and she was the one that got the loser line. But it, uh, no. it makes sense. She's got a potent no. stench. I'm yeah. embarrassed because I actually used to do something like this. Lemons? Really? No. Not lemons, but when I would get nauseous, like back in college, yeah. I had Dove Cucumber Mango Body Wash. Oh, God. And wow. I, and that I didn't sm- make you more sick? No, it would actually no. clear everything up and I felt better and oh. I could go back to partying. It's like calming. Oh. It works. Quick, quick, boys. <laughs> get the Dove out. Yes. God. <laughs> Imagining Jeff's friend. It was the coolest frat, let me oh tell my you. God. Why am I so wasted? Because yeah. I'm sniffing mango cucumber on That's night, right, girl. bro. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what they did at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Next message. Uh, you know, I can be understanding about you admitting that you don't know that much about wine. I, I understand that. But if your palate can't tell the difference between a 2013 Chateau Neuf de Pop Domaine de Pigou from a 2015 Right Bank Cheval Blanc, uh, yeah, I don't think that... We're going to be able to have a future together. And by the way, those diamond earrings that your daddy got you, they're fake.
Oh. Next message. Oh. Oh. Brooke oh. swoons oh. during that for sure. <laughs> no, Jeff, I'm just like, get me the wet one that's either red or white. I don't care. <laughs> You'll do the box. <laughs> or pink. I do. I do do the box. Is there alcohol in this one? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Some people do get a little snobby about their wine. Yeah. Others are snobby about podcasting. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We're saying don't be a podcast snob. Mm-hmm. And listen to us, Brooke and Jeffrey, wherever you yeah. can get us. Plus, check out our TikTok where we put up our favorite loser lines of the week. You can go listen to them there. Mm-hmm. Loser line voicemails like this one. Next message. Hey, Adam. Uh, this is Jeffrey. We met out uh, the other night. And remember we were talking about how I was into like fitness competitions and stuff like that. Um, I actually have a YouTube channel. And I've been looking, you know, for somebody to join me on it. And someone I could like bench press or squat. And you're kind of a smaller guy, and I feel oh. like, you know, kind of strong. You know, I don't want to say strong. No, it's not. I guess I just did. But you know what I mean. Just someone that I, I would be able to lift up and, and have part of my channel, you know, get, get more followers, get more views. Oh. But if you could just give me a call back, that would be awesome. I uh, can't wait to bench press you and throw you around a little bit. Oh. Next message. <laughs> oh, okay then. Is that an insult to dudes, or are you yeah, into it? Yeah, I'd be into yeah, it. It's pretty You'd be uh, into it. Masculating. You could be into. It. I don't know what guy gave out that loser line number, but I do know our technical director Ashton would be perfect to be the human uh, bench press. Very bench bench. Oh, she's, she's supposed to lift something that's impressive, not something that's <laughs> uh, light. Well, he'd be one hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like a, a barbell. <laughs> Just kidding, Ashton. Remember? You're big and bulky. Yeah, you are. Buddy. <laughs> Remember, you can listen to Loser Line regularly at this time every week, and make sure you subscribe to the Brooke and Jeffrey YouTube channel, and you can listen to every single Loser Line second date and phone tap right there. Let's do a phone tap. Yeah. Okay. We'll do it next. <laughs>